Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett at ExcelMe.com. like to welcome all those that are attending live on this uh, YouTube video or those that are uh, listening uh, recorded. Tonight we're going to be talking about iPhone and iPad game programming, the fundamentals, how to get started, what you need to know uh, to be a successful iOS game programmer. And there's a lot to it. It's probably one of the most um, <coughs> advanced programming that you'll do is game programming. So let's talk a little bit about the technologies and what you need to do to get started. Also, um, I just had those of you that are attending live on this webinar. <coughs> excuse me, I started coughing here right at the beginning, as usual. For those of you that are um, accessing all the go-to webinars that I do every Wednesday night, if you go to my website at excelme.com, click on the YouTube link, you can see here, I'll zoom in, make it a little bit bigger. you can go ahead and click on the YouTube channel to subscribe that way when I upload new videos you automatically get an update and then you can also click on the click here to register for the live sessions of these go to webinars which are every Wednesday night and then here's all the old recordings um, and how to get to the YouTube videos <coughs> Okay, so on my website at, oh, no, I did it now. I want to stop that YouTube video. We'll have a recursive YouTube video going on. There we go. Okay, so let's go to um, my schedule here. And I broke out my schedule of the game programming courses in pretty much the order that you need in order to get started. The first thing you need to know is a little bit about game programming fundamentals. And I know you're a developer and you've got a cool game and you want to get right in your game as soon as possible. But there's some things that you have to do in order to um, successfully develop a game. And that's why the first course that we've developed is um, game design fundamentals. And it's basically breaking your game down um, in detail from the storyboard to the game theory to the characters and developing the characters laying it all out all the properties all the art assets sound assets all these assets that you're gonna need how you're gonna manipulate then you can start asking yourself what technology next is best to solve my um, my game for me to complete my game and make it uh, successful on the App Store developers want to get right to the code it's not necessarily the best thing that you want to do um, having worked for um, game development companies the first thing that's done spending months and months at it before they start writing any code is laying out the storyboard of what this application is going to do all the characters what they look like doing the modeling for the characters the sound assets the art assets the levels how many levels there are in it all this is going to be talked about in our game design fundamentals course there's no programming no prerequisite involved in it we're going to be going through we got a great um, a great set of books for it and um, an instruction for it okay the next thing we're going to talk about kind of laying the foundation for um, getting started in our game programming is core animation obviously our games are going to have animation built into them and how to do the core animation and core audio for iPhones iPads and Macs um, core animation and core audio are the two fundamental keys technologies in order to do that. We're going to show you how to use it. This will be using uh, code. We will be using Objective-C to do this. So you need to be, be, feel very comfortable with Objective-C and uh, have uh, probably completed my Cocoa Touch class, okay, um, which is up here at the very top. You probably want to have completed that before you hop into Core Audio. All right. Again, you can see all this up here for the iPhone courses, which um, are being taught as a separate series as well. And you can see the schedule for that. Okay. So a lot of a lot of technology that we're going to be talking about with Core Animation, Core Audio, and then we get into the fun things so with Game Programming One and Game Programming Two. We're actually going to be writing a game program from start to finish, and um, and uh, we'll be able to download it from the iTunes App Store as well to see what it looks like and download it, but also to make modifications in the source code behind it. 
All right, we're going to be looking at OpenGL using 2D um, technology, and we'll be also using Particle. We'll be using some physics behind it, sprites and animation as well, and all the pieces that go in behind making that application, including sound and the particle effects as well. Rendering it and doing some great things that you can do both in iPhone and iPad and on the Mac. Then we're going to be getting into another program, uh, another course called Game Programming 2. That's going to be we're going to be taking game engines and start working with some game engines to do simple 2D um, games, and um, really expanding the first game that we've done. And then the uh, the the uh, fourth course in the series is called Game Programming um, Game Engines for iPhone, iPad, and Mac courses, and and Macs uh, course. And that will be looking at the different types of 2D and 3D games. And then we'll be using um, a 2D game engine. In this case, it's Cocos 2D um, in order to uh, do our application, our game, using Cocos 2D. And then the last one in the course is artificial intelligence for our games. All of the AI behind the scenes that make our application a lot more interactive and uh, challenging for the user and all that needs to go behind it. So there's a, a ton of information that we're going to be covering in these six courses. Lots of depth and breadth in these courses. So anyway, a lot of people just think, all right, I got a great game concept. What do I need to do? I need a game engine. I'll get started. And then that lasts for about two weeks and they pick the wrong game engine or the wrong technology and they've uh, they have nowhere to go. And so we want to um, to help you with that. Also pick, picking a physics engine uh, so you don't need to d dust off your trig and calculus books uh, as well. And you can use a physics engine in order to uh, to do this too. Alright, so that is the um, the game programming course. The first, uh, first course in the series starts. Let me just hop up here to the schedule. starts this March and then the courses run sequentially right after that for the next six months. They all are recorded so you can do them both live and on demand recorded um, and they'll be the first sessions will start the recordings in March so the on demand pieces will uh, be available typically 12 hours from when the live courses are given. Each course has eight classes which will last between an hour and an hour and a half long. So in, in each course, they're usually Tuesday and Thursday nights and um, for, um, for four weeks. So again, eight classes per course and each class lasts a month. Each course lasts a month. And then for those of you that are looking for discounts and that, they're available down here as well. All right, look forward to seeing you in, the, uh, in our game programming course. I'm really excited about it. Um, been teaching uh, straight iOS development for the last two years for iPhone and iPads and I'm really looking forward now into expanding that with teaching game programming. Both myself and Mitch Fisher will be teaching that. Uh, Mitch I've known for almost 20 years, 15, 20 years, hard to believe. He's probably the best developer I've ever worked with. He's written games for, uh, for the iPhone and um, has a lot of experience as well. So the two of us will be tag teaming, teaching these courses and uh, classes every night. So anyway, look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, visit my website and uh, drop us a, a question and we'll be happy to get back to you. Just go to, let's see, I think we want to go to our uh, contact us and you can go ahead and post a question or just email me at gary at excelme.com. G-A-R-Y at excelme.com. Thanks. And those of you that are attending live, I'll go ahead and take your questions now and I'll stop the video so I can post it up on YouTube.